Good morning, everybody. Um, woke up from Love's. We are currently on the road now. Uh, got a full tank of gas. Uh, it's great seeing gas below four dollars. That's really nice. Um, Three eighty nine is what we paid. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be a pretty chill day. Um, got a couple of elements that are headed up this way i believe they're going to be stopping in phoenix to go to a an element meet down there it's i look like the last one of the year happening in phoenix arizona i'm already past that and i don't feel like circling back um so i'm actually going to go check out the petrified forest today hang out there and then um maybe make my way a little bit into new mexico we'll see depending on how long I stay at the Petrified Forest for. Um, it looks pretty cool. They have like some areas where you could go like off-road and stuff. So that's going to be fun for sure. And um, yeah, we're just going to hang out there, uh, shoot some cool videos, take some pictures, maybe get the drone up and flying around there. Hades is getting his morning pets because he's a good boy. And uh, yeah, let's let's get this day rolling. forest so, let's go and uh, explore what these rocks got to give us here's a little taste BAM that right there used to be wood believe it or not isn't that crazy all right so it looks like it'll be a $25 charge to get in hello Hi. how are you doing Let's see. Bam, I got that for you right there. Did you get a mat? Uh, no, I did not. Thank you very much. Have a good one. All right, pretty easy. Um, I did notice on the sign that they have uh, coming in that it says no drones flying whatsoever. So that's good to know because I was honestly gonna try to fly this drone. Um, so good thing I didn't do that. Um, yeah, but it looks like she gave us a map and everything, so uh, I don't plan on straying too far, but we'll definitely we'll definitely be driving and looking around for sure. Yeah, it looks like the rest of Arizona just empty. I can't wait till we come up on some cool petrified wood and whatnot. Man, and you're telling me I'm not allowed to fly a drone here? That's freaking criminal. So sick. Wow. That's freaking wacky, bro. Hades, can you not be so close to the edge of the cliff, sir? Yeah, pee pee right there. <coughs> It definitely looks like people have taken their mountain bikes down here. Been all cruising. Man, this is sick. Wow. So I just got done looking at the map, and from what I could tell, it looks like this should have, like where I entered the park, should have been my exit point because it would have spat me right back out on the 40. So if I would have taken a detour and went to the south side and entered through the south side, I would have seen all of the petrified wood first and it would have taken me straight to the 40. So now I'm kind of going off track, off route. 
Um, we're now from the west point of the park, or from the north point of the park, I'm going down south. Um, and there's nothing but viewpoints up here. So it's just good view, which I mean, that's fine. I've been having good views. Uh, good views are good to enjoy, but I came here to see some fucking petrified wood, baby. So um, I'm blowing through the view stuff. Uh, you know, I, once you've seen it once, you're good. I feel I feel like it'll be the same thing when I go to the Grand Canyon. Like, I'll take it in, be there for like 30, 45 minutes, just be like, wow, this is this is beautiful. Wish I could fly a drone, because if I can't fly a drone here, there's no chance in hell I get to fly a drone at the Grand Canyon. So I'm gonna be like, fuck, wish I could have flown a drone. But uh yeah, so and it's windy, but you know, I probably couldn't have flown a drone because it's windy, but man, yeah, uh, cool views, everything's great, but let's go see some rocks, man. I want to go see these rocks. Petrified wood rocks. Woo! Oh, 22 miles of empty road until we get to our next attraction. So it was all sites for like five, six stops, and now the next stop is 22 miles away. And I believe it's gonna be some petrified wood, but man, 22 mile drive. Oh, okay, whatever. I shouldn't even complain. I'm already like a good thousand miles into my little adventure, but goddamn. I, should, I wish I would have started from the other side. <laughs> Silly. We're on mile eight. <laughs> uh. Right through here is our first stop to see some petrified wood. It's called the Agate Bridge. Oh look, sure enough, a fallen tree that has been petrified. stop I parked and this is kind of crazy I can't wait to actually like touch one I want to see what it feels like it's more rock or wood oh yeah that is that is rock that's crazy Crazy to look at. That's wild. Dude. <laughs> Sick. was crazy because like you could see there's like chips and flakes of it it's all over it's pretty wild oh this one's sick it's huge like I can sit on this one
just sniffing and peeing on everything and claiming it as his own. <laughs> Wild. All right, next stop is at the Crystal Forest. I definitely see why it's called that. was a forest. Think of a word to describe the semi-arid grasslands in front of you. Is it lush green or forested? No, but those would be accurate descriptions for this land during the Triassic period. At that time, this area resided on the supercontinent Pangaea at approximately 10 degrees north of the equator, the same latitude as present-day Costa Rica. As Pangaea broke apart, the North American continent drifted northward. Some 218 million years later, Crystal Forest, at its 30 degrees north latitude, the Colorado Plateau uplifted slowly over millions of years, rising the parkland about a mile above sea level. This is why the park is so arid today. If Crystal Forest had not moved and uplifted, it would still be a forest, much like the rainforest of Costa Rica. Huh. Wild. I'm not the best reader, but I tried for you guys. Huh. Wild animals back then. You could walk quite a ways in here. There's people all the way over there. That's crazy. Man. Like, look at this one. It's like white and red. <laughs> I like rocks, so this is interesting to me. <laughs> it's crazy. Wow. God damn. Nice, cool little thing again. So right here tells you the color. So the reds, and yellows, oranges, and purples, that's iron oxide. And then uh, the blacks and grays is, I don't even know how to say that, magnesium oxide. And then the white is the pure quartz. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, because some of the wood looks like it was cut. Nobody cut it. It just kind of fell apart once it got too heavy. And it just broke. Which is crazy. Alright, Hades. I'm going to go inside the museum, okay? You're going to have to watch the car. Okay, I love you. Watch the car for Dad. You're a good boy. Alright. We just both had some water, so we're good. He's good. Hopefully don't pee in here, but uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go check out the museum. No dogs allowed inside, so. Let's go check it out. Bruh, this thing's huge. That's crazy.
one thing I was curious about was what kind of trees they were. Proceed after stopping. Cool. All right, it looks like uh, we made it to the end. And uh, this is the gift shop. Hmm, Petrified Forest gift shop. Free petrified wood. I want some free petrified wood. Whoa. <laughs> as soon as you come in, it just gets started. Wow. Whoa. Was all this found here? Damn. It is oh, oh. Hi, how are you? Doing great. Awesome. <laughs> wow. Jeebus. Wow. And here's what I like. The amethysts. So many different colors. Wow. I mean, geez, that's crazy. Display only, not for sale. So cool though. All right, guys, so yeah. something crazy is happening. I'm going to get my tarot cards read. Yes. It's been over a year since I've had that happen. And I also got a free piece of petrified wood, which I was really looking forward to, so pretty happy about that. But, uh, yeah, nice ladies here hooked it up, and uh, there's another lady who's going to read my cards right now. So, And your name, by the way? I'm Christine Smith of AstronArts.com. Christine yep. Smith, all right. And she is gonna give us our tarot card reading right now. Awesome. So have you had your cards read before? I have. Okay. Uh, it, like I said, it's been a little over a year, so okay. it's been a while. So do you know what question you wanna ask already? Um, yeah, I pretty much just wanna know how my travel is gonna go. Okay. Like the overall, you know, vibe of your travel. Okay. Okay, so this trip is gonna inspire a lot of hope for you. You're gonna kind of pop out of anything that you may have been struggling with before, and you're gonna be kind of renewed by the energy. So anything that has made you feel hopeless or lost, this card is kind of reiterating that you're going to have a renewed sense of hope of things that can be done in the future, new motivations and new ideas of things that you can enjoy and, you know, make new, even more grand plans than you even expect, you know, at the beginning. How you feel at the end is just going to be tremendously full of hope and, you know, just that inspiration to do more. 
This is potential challenges. So, Page of Cups. Um, I think you're going to kind of explore your emotions more in your inner child. Um, could bring, this trip could bring things that have been kind of pushed down and you're going to have to experience them like new, you know, from more of a child's perspective. But I think that this card is showing a lot of healing. Mm. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <sighs> wow, that's crazy. Sounds like it's going to be a good trip overall, though. It looks, it looks awesome. Yeah, that was a really good read. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's amazing. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. Super cool. All right, guys, so we have officially left the Petrified Forest. It was super awesome. I had a good time. Uh, that card reading at the end, that was really awesome. Uh, kind of putting me in the right, the right spirits and everything. So, I mean, I was already in the right spirits, but it's more of just like a morale boost overall, I would say. Um, and yeah, I guess that's gonna be the end for this video. Um, I'm gonna keep driving though, and I guess maybe I'll start making my next video right now, but for right now, we got to explore the Petrified Forest, which was super awesome, and uh, if you want to continue to watch my adventures and where I'm going, uh, just stick around, like, and subscribe, man. Thank you guys, I'll see ya.